Hello, and welcome to Species Spotlight. This week, I want to focus on a secretive bird you can find near wetlands and quieter bodies of water, the green heron. Green herons are short, stocky wading birds that are found across most of North America, especially the eastern United States. Adults have a greenish-black cap on their head with a beautiful reddish-brown neck, and their wings are a darker gray that can have a greenish tint to them. Green herons stand at 16 to 18 inches tall with a wingspan of 25 inches and only weigh around 8.5 ounces. The male and female are very similar, but the female usually is slightly smaller, duller, and lighter. Green herons are masters of blending in with their environments. Since they are much stockier and shorter than other wading birds, green herons can sit among reeds and other aquatic plants without being seen. When looking closely, you will typically find them near freshwater lakes, ponds, marshes, swamps, and stream sides that are lined with trees, shrubs, or marsh vegetation. Green herons feed mainly on fish, but are not picky when it comes to a meal. They tend to make meals out of crayfish, larger aquatic insects, frogs, rodents, and even snakes. Green herons hunt for food by standing completely still at the water's edge or on aquatic vegetation. To grab prey, they will lunge and dart their heads to sneak attack their next meal. Another way a green heron can lure in prey towards them is by using tools. They commonly drop bait onto the surface of the water and grab the small fish that are attracted. They can use a variety of baits and lures, including insects, earthworms, twigs, or feathers. Green herons are one of the few tool-using birds that we know of. Green herons also have remarkable binocular vision. Not only are their eyes oriented forward, but they're also oriented downward to better see the prey beneath the surface of the water while enabling the herons to remain as still as possible without the need to move their heads. If a green heron is ever startled or feels threatened, they are able to raise the crest on the back of their head and stretch out their neck as far as it will go. This makes them look a lot larger to any predators that may be around. Green herons do breed here in New Jersey. However, they will migrate down to Florida, the Gulf Coast, and the Caribbean during colder months before they make their way south in the fall. I hope learning a little bit about this bird gets you out in the parks to try and observe them. Thanks for tuning in this week.